हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू एक्सपोर्ट एच टी एम एल विद कस्टम सी एस एस टू ए पी डी एफ डॉक्यूमेंट यूजिंग विद जे एस पी डी एफ एंड एच टी एम एल टू कैनवस लाइब्रेरी सो दिस इज द एंड प्रोडक्ट वी विल बी गेटिंग हेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज द एच टी एम एल हेडिंग एच वन हेडिंग एंड इट इज हैविंग ए ब्लैक बैकग्राउंड एंड द टेक्स कलर इज रेड सो सम सी एस एस प्रॉपर्टीज इज बिंग अप्लाइड टू दिस एच वन एलिमेंट एंड वी हैव सक्सेसफुली एक्सपोर्टेड दिस टू ए पी डी एफ डॉक्यूमेंट सो यू कैन सी इट्स ए पी डी एफ डॉक्यूमेंट सो वी आर मेकिंग यूज ऑफ जे एस पी डी एफ लाइब्रेरी एंड एच टी एम एल टू कैनवस लाइब्रेरी विच एक्चुअली टेक्स द स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ दिस सो इट्स अ वेरी फेमस लाइब्रेरी दीज टू लाइब्रेरीज सो फॉर लेट मी जस्ट शो यू द application so if i open this it's a javascript application download pdf button is there if i click this button pdf file will be downloaded and you will see this result so all the source code regarding this application guys i have written in the video description this is a blog post inside the blog post you will find all the source code that you will need here so just go to the video description link so now let's get started by building this application guys so the very first thing you will need we need to import all the dependencies first is the js pdf and the html to canvas cdn library so just go to the video description link and get these libraries so inside the body we will have a simple button that download pdf so we will be writing a simple function which will be download pdf and we will be giving a id to it of uh, download pdf so what we need to export here we will be having a div which will be having a id of text so inside this we can define a h1 heading and this will be this is simple heading so now for styling it we can give it a id to it of heading and we can write some style sheet code so we can target this heading by this symbol heading we can change the color of this to red we can change or we can change the color to yellow let's suppose and the background color we can change to black so now you will see that if i open this you will now see this is a simple yellow color text and a black color background and a download pdf button so this is quite simple in order to export these uh, to a pdf document we just need to write this uh, simple code so we need to write this function here which is this download pdf so we will simply say that functional download pdf and uh, first of all we will target the button which is we have given it a id of download pdf so we will can manipulate the inner html of it we will say downloading and once the it is completed we can once again change the value that is download pdf that's it so now in between these guys we need to create our function so mind you this will be a async function so just make this function as async and now inside this guys at the very top we can declare a new instance of js pdf like this and here what we need to do is guys we just need to use the await keyword and then we will use the html to canvas library and here we just need to pass the id of the element for which we need to take the screenshot so in we need to pass this id this div this is the actual element we need to take the screenshot so we will provide the id text so put a comma and then it takes a lot uh, options here in curly brackets 
first option will be use cores this can be either true or false and then we have uh, allow taint this also has the true false value and lastly if you check the documentation you will find out I have given this in the video description and last property is the width property so I will provide it at 520 and then it returns a promise guys dot then it returns our actual canvas and this canvas we can export it to a PDF document by converting it to base64 code so what we can do is that here simply we can export this to base64 code doc dot add image is a function in JSPDF and here we can simply say that canvas to data URL and here we can simply pass the image which is image slash PNG and the second argument is this is a PNG image and then the X and the Y coordinate which is 5 comma 5 and the width of the image which is 500 and the height would be 200 to maintain the aspect ratio and after this guys you can download the file which is you can give any name of your choice I will give as output.pdf so if I open this application now click download pdf some error has taken place let me see document oh sorry this needs to be capital E capital E let me now see here once again at line number 67 I think get element by ID uh, here you will see get element by ID so now guys as I hit this button a PDF file is downloaded and now you can see it is kind of blurry here you can ca can't see this size complete size so for fixing it we can give it a fix width to it so in a st style property here so we can write inner style here which is width we can provide 500 pixel so now this will not look blurry so you can see that if I see here so I think this is coming because we are having these properties which is these properties so if I just uh, uncomment this if I don't have these properties so then this will not be having I also have zoomed in so that is why you are seeing a higher value let me zoom out a little so this is the normal value so you can see that guys let me So in this way guys you can manipulate any property you can change this color to blue and now if you have this so it can convert to any color any CSS property you can also change the font size font size to 13 pixel so in this way you can convert any CSS property export it to a PDF document so I think these options I, will, I was missing here you will see that so if I pass these options to the JS PDF constructor so this these options so once again so now you will see that now it is 
looking good you can see that so we need to pass these options here so just go to the video description link and pass these options and you will be able to convert any CSS property to PDF document so so let's suppose you want to have a instead of background color you hand you have to have a background image so here you can provide a URL so I have a image which is hosted on my website procosto.com so let me try if it is working or not so now you can see it is just working so just wait the images the images will not work but apart from that if you have any sort of css property you will see the color was preserved but the images will not work from a url apart from that you can use any css property so thanks very much guys for watching this video